Today, nearly one in five Americans is living with mental illness. Although behavioral health care has improved over the last decade, 56% of Americans still lack access to the care they need. In rural areas like Western Nebraska, access to behavioral health care dramatically declines, leaving even more people untreated. 88 of Nebraska's 93 counties meet the federal designation for a shortage of mental health providers. 32 of those counties lack any type of behavioral health provider. This is why revolutionizing access to behavioral health care in Nebraska is so crucial. To address the decline in patient access to behavioral health care, the Nebraska State Legislature formed the Behavioral Health Education Center of Nebraska, or BEACON, in 2009. So as a practicing psychiatrist, one thing I've learned is that uh, it often takes weeks and sometimes months for our patients to be able to find a provider. A collaboration among the University of Nebraska Medical Center, Creighton University, and the University of Nebraska Kearney, Beacon's mission is to recruit, retain, and increase the state's behavioral health workforce. So when somebody's struggling, that's really hard. You know, they just don't have the resources or the time, you know, to drive two hours, you know, to go see a counselor. Um, and so the consequences are those, those concerns go untreated. In 2013, Dr. Joe Evans, a psychology professor at the University of Nebraska Medical Center, set out to extend Beacon's efforts. He spearheaded the Nebraska Behavioral Health Education Partnership, a collaboration among Nebraska's behavioral health training programs. To date, the partnership includes 15 such programs throughout the state. Beacon has been kind of a godsend from, from the legislature because it, it's allowed us to uh, put together some training packages. Uh, it's allowed us to uh, apply for some federal uh, and state contract grants to uh, actually go ahead and pull these 15 training programs that we have around the state together, but at the same time provide some, some incentive for uh, students to come to work on these programs because we're now able to offer some stipends uh, to offer them uh, good training and, and good clinical experiences during their internships. The formation of the Nebraska Behavioral Health Education Partnership marks the first time Nebraska's colleges and universities have united in a concerted effort to improve access to behavioral health care in the state and to keep graduates of these programs working in Nebraska. And the partnership is making good progress. At the Behavioral Health Education Seminar in April 2018, leaders from all 15 partner institutions gathered to discuss additional ways they can work together. One of the tangible things that Beacon does is connect students to mentors. And uh, whether they're in college or actually in graduate school, they always need someone that they can shadow, that can inspire them and talk to them about career decisions and other places that they want to go in the future. The combined efforts of the academic institutions and dedicated behavioral health professionals involved in the Nebraska Behavioral Health Education Partnership have paid off for the state. I think what we found is that there is definite interest uh, from, from the different programs and in number one, getting to know each other. We've actually been able to pull all the training programs into to one uh, cohesive, relatively cohesive type of group. I really think that this is um, just a, a genius kind of, kind of um, idea to get everyone together and, and to really coordinate some of the efforts we have in training our uh, young people to become behavioral health. Uh, practitioners. So one thing that we're quite proud of at Beacon is as many other states have gone the route of having declining behavioral health workforce, we've seen about 15% uh, growth in our behavioral health providers. In rural Nebraska, most providers actually are primary care providers. And that's actually where most people will get treated for depression, for anxiety, for ADHD, and so on. So it's also really important that Beacon fulfills its mission of training family practice doctors, uh, advanced practice nurses and PAs and others that are providing that frontline care. Nebraska currently has 24 clinics in rural areas and 18 in the Omaha and Lincoln areas. These clinics serve approximately 5,000 patients for nearly 25,000 appointments annually. That was not occurring 20 years ago. I mean, this has all been as a result of some of the, the work that we've put into doing all this and in integrated care. So although the number of psychiatrists has stayed roughly the same during Binkett's founding, we've seen that the number of psychiatric nurse practitioners, sometimes called APRNs, has really increased by 40% during those last seven years, and that's really provided a lot of access for families.
Of course, the leaders of Beacon and the Nebraska Behavioral Health Education Partnership aren't likely to rest on their laurels just because they've seen success. There are still plenty of ways they would like to improve access to behavioral health care in Nebraska. So there's two things on my wish list for the future of behavioral health workforce in our state. The first is that we need to have providers that are living in the communities where they're needed the most. So that includes uh, underserved areas of Omaha, Lincoln, and other towns but especially rural Nebraska. The second is how they're trained. So currently, you know, everyone sees one patient at a time in a traditional live setting, but we'd love to see them doing new techniques that are more efficient, like telehealth, integrated behavioral health, and so on, so that they can really cover a whole population. Beacon and the Nebraska Behavioral Health Education Partnership will always seek out new ways to improve access to behavioral health services for Nebraska's rural and underserved communities. But at least for one day, at the Behavioral Health Education Seminar, the people dedicated to this mission were able to celebrate their successes thus far. Beacon's collaboration with all the training programs throughout the state is kind of unprecedented. I think it's really helpful to see that we're all going towards the same goal. Beacon has facilitated many opportunities to collaborate with other programs. It was through a workshop with Beacon that I was able to meet a local psychiatrist in Kearney where I've met other nurse practitioners or other physicians. They really care about us getting a, a thorough education um, and they know that what they're imparting upon us is what we will take out into the world. I learn more from other program directors in terms of some of their struggles and mine. We started working with Beacon about six or seven years ago. Um, and that really was a game changer. I was so impressed by how we could pull together all of these different aspects of the field and relate to one another. We're all trying to, to help Nebraska train behavioral health providers and address the shortage and, and to help people. My biggest, uh, I think, uh, uh, satisfaction has come from being able to look across the state and saying, you know, hey, we had a voice, we had an impact and that impact has given a voice to thousands across rural Nebraska by giving them access to the care they need.